Boilermakers control the tip. They swing it. Inside, Edwards, right hand up and in. Well, excellent execution, and you see the mantra force one guy, then the next, always there to support each other. Excellent defensive possession. It's Edwards at three, and he rips it. From coaching perspective, Nate Fowler is checked in for Butler, number 51. Dylan Martin cuts it, jump hook, baseline, rattle it in. Sometimes, you see the hook? You see the hook? The rubble of Kentucky. <laughs> he came out of the womb with that shot. Now Haas posted up. He's got Fowler on his hip. Drop step. Off the glass head in. The big man with the soft touch. And denied a pass. First basket for the George Washington transfer. Baseline. Carson Edwards, and it's good. This kid's got. Joy Brunk is checked in, number 50. Baldwin, mid range, and this time he finds the bottom of the net. His father died in April. Matthias. Got a nice jet. David crosses over to the hole, rejected out of bounds. Harm says, not in my house. Yeah, but Christian David that time was unsure really what he wanted to do. Pass it, shoot it, get by. But it's the reason why. Edwards up top. Boom. Vinny. First time. Carson Edwards may try to do this by himself. If he can get it back, Klein a three. Man. Boiler makers. Thompson down the lane, the kick, Matthias rises. Vince Edwards with the offensive rebound, quick turn to the bucket, and one. Ball knocked away, Thompson will track it down. Martin, watch out. Two hand jam. Timeout, Butler. 44 to 25. Out now, Jorgensen. Side, Nate Fowler. Blocked by Harms. Fowler gets it back. And the reverse layup goes down. Well, that's when someone from us, and that's the thing, guys. If the guy beats you over the top and he can test a shot, there's nothing you can do. Dias has got a quick trigger. Edwards deep. Pure. He didn't pass it five times, Mom. <laughs> Sideline diminishes a little bit more because you trust the guys on the court. Inside Haas, great position. Mm -mm. Beautiful. Mm -mm. It's up. Games, including a season best 59% against Youngtown State last Saturday. Jurgensen with the steal to the hole, off the glass, and in. He's making the right calls and he's not dominating. <laughs> you know the airwaves, you know what I mean? Here's Haas. Mm. On foul, lost it. Jurgensen spinning, kicks it. Baldwin on the move, off and in. Beautifully done by Butler. Creating opportunities off the turnover. 63 to 46. Basketball brought to the great state of Indiana from Springfield. Jurgensen, Weidman. Uh oh. Butler fans on their feet. 67-55. You know what we could call it, right? The Jimmy Jackson Dino Mike Classic. And a steal. Baldwin picking P.J. Thompson's pocket. And look at the Bulldog. Seven. A lot of time left. Jurgensen. And hits. Whoa. Jurgensen has exploded in the second half. He had two at the break. He's got 15 now. Guarded by Baldwin. Be careful, Baldwin, fourth in the conference and steals. Ooh, Haas just pinned his man and jammed it down with a foul on the floor. Hey, listen. What a luck. See, see that little bump right there? Final in the Crossroads Classic, 82-67. to 67. Purdue defeats Butler.
All right, at one point you were up by 26, so there's always learning lessons. So what's the learning lesson of that comeback that you withheld from? Oh, we just got careless. I thought they picked up their intensity and uh, their pressure was much better, and we just got careless with the basketball. But, but give them credit. They're a good program, a good team. They had a fight to them there in the second half. And uh, it is a good learning lesson. When you get a lead, you got to be able to maintain it so the game doesn't get close. It's obviously not ideal with Isaac Haas getting in foul trouble. Right. What's the dynamic of him trying to find a rhythm and you guys trying to find a rhythm playing without him? Well, he just had such a careless foul to start the game. You know, he's got to be able to stay on the court for us. Just stay big if they score over him, they score over him. Uh, but he's so hard to guard, and it really spreads the court for us. So we, we need him on the court. Finally, five guys in double figures. What did you see from Carson Edwards to point him out here today? Well, I thought he did a good job of picking his spots. He had a couple opportunities where he got got a little bit too aggressive with it, but he did a good job of picking his spots. And that's what we need him to do. We need him to be a stopper on the defensive end and then be aggressive on offense. Thank you. All right, thank you.